I like to bring uh, the man, the myth, and the legend, Mr. David Schmidt, uh, founder and CEO of Life Wave. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Oh, thank you as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to be uh, to join us here today as a special speaker, as a special guest. It's an honor to have you here. Uh, we're just uh, so um, blessed and, and grateful to have such a um, generous uh, founder and CEO such as yourself. So thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, thank you. And it, it all starts with the members. So I'm happy to do it. Uh, one of the things I like to um, ask you, um, of course, it's been 18 years in the making, right? It's been well, 18 right. years. <laughs> the company. I'm sure. I'm sure you've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, and and I and I'm sure that we're going to focus on the good and all the great things that have been happening. Um, the industry has changed a lot. Uh, the industry of network marketing is not what it was 10, 20 years ago. 15 years ago, even 10 years, even five years ago. Uh, and it's also, you know, because we have a lot of leaders here, we have a lot of people with experience in the industry, we're going to actually level this type of um, um, Q&A or this uh, interview uh, to a level of understanding where a lot of leaders are going to realize, okay, this is the right place, the right time, the right company, the right product, uh, the right CEO, the right team, the right system. And those five pillars of success that, that, that you have to have in order to have a company that's going to be here mm -hmm. 10, 15, 20, 30, 50, uh, 50 years later. So um, I, was, I, I wanted to ask you, I'm sure uh, you had other options to take this amazing technology, these amazing products, uh, different directions, right? Uh, different marketing channels. Uh, but I wanted to ask you, why MLM? Why through network marketing? Why through this incredible industry? At the time, did you know the industry? That, were you aware of the industry? And, and why did you choose network marketing and bless millions of people around the globe with an opportunity, not only using the products, but also um, and, um, promoting the products to, the, to, to their loved ones? Why network marketing? Yeah, thank you, Oz. That's a fantastic question. So this uh, started back in 2002. Um, and when I had the first LifeWave prototype, I began to think about how can we make these in large volume? Uh, we have to do clinical studies to validate that this is something real. And then, of course, we have to find a way to market it. So at the time, uh, I was really thinking about some very traditional ways of marketing, maybe through radio, through TV. Uh, through retail stores like GNC. And um, I had been uh, introduced to a number of business friends uh, and business people and started to have these meetings. And um, what happened was um, I had a business friend who met a fellow that was interested in investing in LifeWave in a movie theater. And uh, I, so I had met with this guy and he said, well, I'm a contractor. I don't know anything about science. Would you talk to a, a doctor that I know? So I spoke with the doctor and the doctor said, well, this is, uh, I find this really interesting. Let me send uh, you know, some information on this to another doctor I know, which he did. And then that doctor uh, sent information on the patches over to Stanford University. And three weeks after that first meeting, um, I was at Stanford putting patches on Olympic swimmers. And that all happened because of networking. So it became obvious over about a two year period of time um, of doing market research that networking was the right way to go. And uh, so we launched as a network company in November of 2004. And um, it's been incredible ever since. You know, we did $17 million in sales our very first year. And, uh, you know, then we were off to the races. So it's been an incredible industry for us. Awesome. 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 Well, that's awesome. Uh, well, thank you so much uh, for that great answer, Mr. David Schmidt. Uh, one question that we wanted to ask you is, um, you know, the, the, the company... 2004 was established, 16, 17 million that first opening year. I'm sure the growth was very, you know, stable little by little, right? When did you see the explosion of growth happen? And, and what do you think caused that explosion of growth? 
Well, we've had, that's an interesting question because we've had all different types of uh, phases in the company. Um, the one thing that I would say to uh, all the entrepreneurs that we have on today is that there's always going to be challenges that you're going to face and you're always going to have difficulties and obstacles. And uh, it really requires a lot of patience and persistence as an entrepreneur to be successful. You know, everybody can be happy and motivated when we're having growth. Uh, but when there's obstacles and challenges, you know, that's when you really find out what you're made of. And uh, you have to reach down inside you, uh, you know, pray for guidance and strength and keep going. And, uh, if you do that, you can make it through, you know, the challenges that you're faced with. And uh, so we had uh, an initial surge of growth in 2005. Uh, we had, uh, then the year after that was pretty stable. But then uh, we actually got hit by a credit card fraud in very late uh, 2006 and that was very tough on the company. Uh, in 2007 was a very, very tough year for us. Uh, but then as we came back in 2008, we resolved you know, the, uh, the issue. Um, we started to see sales double year over year in, in 2008, 2009, uh, 2010. And so things really came back. Um, it was between then, I'd say then in 2018, that sales were very stable for many years. We had a small growth, but very stable. And then, of course, once 2018 hit, uh, the sales took off like crazy because of X39. So um, sales in just this past June uh, were more than the entire year of 2018. And uh, last year, of course, uh, the sales were over 10 times higher uh, than 2018. So, and this year is going to be more still. So, uh, our growth rate has been extraordinary ever since 2018. I put it that way. Awesome. Well, that's that's great to 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 know, and we know that you know every great business sometimes in the beginning or in the middle has hiccups, uh, and sometimes has you know obstacles, and and I, I we always say that obstacles are just confirmation that something greater is coming because that right yeah because that's after, right because after adversity comes a blessing all the time right after the storm comes the calm and you got the great sunsets and you got the great weather and you got the beautiful smell and everything right so uh that's that's just confirmation of um of great things happening so um we can see that in 2019 18 19 was a great year right? as we can see based on the numbers that the company has been publishing right so thank you thank you uh mr david smith another question would be um, we're hearing a lot of leaders um, are saying, well, I've never heard of LifeWave. It's been around for 18 years. Uh, where has it been? How come we've never heard of it, right? Uh, and we are, my answer to them is like, we're doing a reverse launch. I mean, the company grew in Asia and Europe a lot more than it did in the U.S. And, and maybe you have the answer to that. Um, and, and I tell them it's a reverse launch. So now it's time for the U.S. and, and North America, Latin America to grow uh, with Asia and Europe, right? Because we're doing literally a reverse launch where a lot of the volume is coming out of the Asia, Asia Pacific and, and, and Europe. And, but now we have the opportunity here back at home, right? So it's like, you know, and, and maybe you can explain and elaborate a little bit of that. Why do you think that was? Oh, you know, that's it's so hard to say. Uh, we had a very small business in the U.S. for many years, a uh, small business in Taiwan. We were doing, we opened an office in Taiwan in 2008, and we did about a million dollars a year. Uh, so very small business there. And uh, we're now in the top 30 largest network marketing companies in Taiwan. We just 
uh, broke into that this year. Um, but most of our business was coming from Europe. As you say, uh, we launched there in 2008. We got initial traction in Spain and France, Italy, um, and we did very well with that. Uh, so, yeah, about 80 percent of our business for many years came from Europe and uh, we didn't get a lot of attention, you know, right here in the U.S. or some other markets. Uh, but again, everything really changed in 2018. Uh, we began to bring on new leaders uh, like yourself and uh, like Therese. Uh, who went out and started to build the market and have just done an incredible job. So it's really always the leaders that are going to come in and uh, build up the business. And that's certainly what's happened for us. So we've been very blessed with great leaders. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that's, that's great too. Well, thank you for that. And, and it's, I think the company's ready and, and a lot of leaders um, who might have joined, you know, five, six, seven years ago. <laughs> Some of them are still around, like Mr. Roy and a couple other people, you know, Mr. Lorenzo and, you know, yeah. Rick DeLuca, you name it. You know, there's some great leaders, too, that have been around through the, you know, through the obstacles and everything else that company has been going through. And so they came to pave the way for us. And we're just here on the freeway now. It's just building this thing, you know, with great products, great promotions, great everything, great opportunities. So, um, so yeah, but also, too, one thing that I was... Um, that, that we were talking about when we first met, when I met, first met you, when I was over at corporate, and then we did a, you know, we, we did a QA. and a um, Would you agree that the U.S. has been highly medicated for so long? And, um, and, and so it's like, you know, when you have a product this powerful, I mean, it's just, um, it's just amazing results that we're seeing that people are seeing. And, and, um, and, and that's one thing that I noticed that Asians, they're, they're not medicated at all. They don't believe in, and, and stuff like that. So what, what can you add to that? Yeah, well, that is true. Uh, here in the U.S., we're much more ingrained in the pharmaceutical model, whereas in markets that we're very strong in, such as Taiwan and Japan, and even in Europe, uh, people are practice much more uh, energy medicine, things like acupuncture, uh, energy massage, of course, uh, Chinese herbalism, and things that are, are going to promote natural healing. So our products, of course, are based on technology to heal the body with light and promote natural responses in the body using light. So instead of using a drug uh, to produce a change, we're going to stimulate the skin with light to activate the stem cells or to improve the immune system. And this way of thinking is uh, very well accepted, of course, throughout Asia. Uh, but here in the US, um, you know, it takes many people a little bit longer to wrap their mind around that. But what's made the difference is uh, our stem cell uh, product, uh, X39, and now of course, X49. So previously, um, you know, our products were all about improving general wellness, uh, anti-aging effects, stress reduction. And uh, that, I think, fits in very well, of course, with everybody. Uh, but I think that explains why we had so much traction in Asia. And then, of course, now all of a sudden, we introduce a stem cell product and that really has very, very broad appeal. So that's, that's been the transition point for uh, the explosion of growth that we've had in, in the U.S. Awesome. Great, great to know. Um, one other question that, that we uh, as leaders were talking about and, and conversing, which, you know, what, what would be a key question to, uh, to know and why? So the growth in the last month, as we mentioned, I understand last month we had another record month uh, in record breaking week as well within that month. Right. Uh, yeah. and, and that is impressive. That is great to see when many other companies out there are not really growing. They're stagnant. They hit the, the plateaus and, and you name it. But here we are 
growing like no other company, attracting leaders of high calibers, high profile leaders, seasoned networkers and people uh, and professionals in their own careers, you know, such as, you know, attorneys and, and people just in the in the professional realm, C-level executives and you name it, uh, company owners. Um, so the question is, we understand we just had our record record breaking month and then our week within a month. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? I know you mentioned that a little bit in the beginning, but right now we like to see and kind of hear what took place and how exciting that was. I'm sure at corporate, everybody was excited how how much growth we we saw and what maybe maybe what cost it. Well, oh, uh, first, <laughs> there's so many things that cause that uh, that have to come together. Uh, the first thing is I want to uh, thank Lori Berger. I want to thank Emily Hollingshead. Uh, and really the entire marketing team uh, and sales team, they're doing a phenomenal job. Um, you know, it takes a lot of people to make everything run properly. And um, we've spent the time and money to invest back into our infrastructure. So uh, in terms of our manufacturing capacity, we have the ability to support a company doing more than a billion dollars a year in sales. So we fully know that we're going to hit that and it's just a matter of time. So we wanted to build up our infrastructure so it would support that. So as we're getting these record months, um, we don't have any worries that uh, we're going to be able to keep up with that. Um, but yeah, the sales and marketing team, especially Lori and Emily, I want to give them a shout out and uh, and thank them because they're doing such a phenomenal job putting together, you know, a series of promotions, putting together tools for the members uh, so that these promotions can be successful. Um, and then we're also just incredibly blessed to be attracting some incredible talent. Um, we've taken on new leaders in uh, all different pockets around the world now. I, in addition to the U.S., of course, uh, we've got new leaders that came in in Japan, uh, in Malaysia, some new leaders in Europe. Of course, uh, we want to build up the market in Mexico now that we're building an office there. And um, so I think a lot of those a lot of those things contribute uh, overall to you know why we would have uh, such a phenomenal month in June. And uh you know, I, I think it was just one of those things where all the, the promotions were there, the talent was there for our leaders and our members, and people responded. And uh, yeah, we had the biggest commission week in the history of the company, which was amazing. And uh, of course, you know, the sales finished out the biggest in our history. So um, yeah, so for me, um, at the end of the day, I, I want to know that people are benefiting from the products because that's what it's all about. Um, and like in one in, in one uh, recent case, we had a group of new leaders that just came in, and it was their first two weeks. And um, they they sponsored 500 people their first two weeks, um, which of course is insane. And uh, so they they've been really punching it and hitting it. And they sent me a personal thank you. And they said, and the, the first thing they said was, we have never seen testimonials like this before. The, the experiences people are having with these products are insane. That was an exact quote. <laughs> so to me, that's, that's the odds. That's really where it starts is that we want our uh, members and our customers to be having phenomenal experiences with the product and have very, very high satisfaction with that. And then, of course, once they have those experiences, they're going to be excited about it. They'll tell others, and then they'll go out and build the business. So to me, the financial success, it's all great, uh, and we need money to run the company. And I want, of course, all of our entrepreneurs in our, in our business to be successful so they can support their uh, family, families, especially you know, with inflation the way that it is. Uh, but uh, none of that happens without, you know, a deep satisfaction in the product. So I'm really glad we've achieved that. Awesome. Great. 
Um, next question, Mr. David Schmidt, would yep. be, I also understand at convention, uh, will, uh, you will release uh, a new technology, maybe new products, new developments, or, or maybe just uh, share with us what's been going on since last convention. When we were at last convention over in Orlando last November, uh, that was the pre-launch of the X49, which has been an amazing product, amazing results. People are just uh, blown away by how good it works in different areas of, you know, of, of the body functions and things like that. Uh, I can only, I can't even imagine what's going to happen this convention, but if you can share a little bit of whatever you can share with us, we'll be so grateful if you can. Uh, yeah, this, this is going to make uh, the November convention look like a warm up. Uh, mm-hmm. Honestly, this is, we've just taken things to a whole other level and that's, there's no exaggeration there. Um you know, first thing is, yeah, we are going to unveil a new technology. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, sharing with our community what that's all about. Um, I'm also uh, have brought some videos with me of uh, experiments that I've done in the lab that are going to show um, some new things that I've developed for age reversal. And so we've gotten to the point now where the technology is developed and now we're starting up the clinical studies uh, to see if this is going to reverse human aging. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why I believe that it will. And um, so I'm going to get into that in a little bit more detail and give people a look uh, into, the, into the lab. Uh, there's also a number of surprises Uh, I would say um, I am going to be, I can't tell you, I can't tell you why, um, but I've invented the world's first nanotechnology Frisbee. And you may be wondering, what does that have to do with LifeWave or the patches? And uh, you're going to have to come to convention to find out, but I'm going to, I'm going to bring um, this nanotechnology frisbee, and then you're going to find out what it's really about. Uh, I'll just say that as a tease. And there's a number of other big surprises that are coming. Uh, so yeah, it's it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I'd say another thing that I would say is on Saturday of uh, the last convention, I showed off the direction that we'd be going in the future with agriculture and energy production and those things uh, to help make the world a better place and expand on our opportunities. So I'm bringing one of those technologies with me that I teased in November. And uh, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to unveiling that. And I think our members are really gonna enjoy it. So. This, this is going to be very much about uh, the opportunity in front of us today, um, new opportunities that are here now, and then what the future looks like for LifeWave in the coming years. And uh, we have an opportunity as a company to really redefine the industry. Uh, I think, Oz, when you and I look back, you know, 10 years from now, this will be a pivotal point. Uh, for network marketing, because, you know, historically, network marketing has been, there, of course, have been good players and not so good companies. Um, And, but I think now the time has come where companies can innovate instead of, you know, just selling average Me Too products. There are good products out there, but there's not as much innovation in our industry as there should be. And I think LifeWave can, uh, can be part of something really important that we can be a beacon to show the industry, hey, you can be successful with some pretty radical innovation. People are ready for that. And it will uh, give our industry a whole series of new opportunities and also allow the public perception of the network marketing industry to to change 
in a uh, very, very positive way. So um, I think this is going to be an incredibly important convention in that regard. That's great to see and that's great to know. Uh, and we look forward to um, experience that and be there uh, in person. And that's why I tell people all the time, if you, if you can't make it, do the virtual. But if you can be there, be there, because that's going to be like nothing before, like not, no other, you know, uh, be able to experience that first um, nanotechnology Frisbee uh, <laughs> <laughs> and everything else that, you know, why, why with life, why, why, you know, how, how we can, you know, correlate it with what we do and, you know, our amazing technology and products and everything else that you're going to launch there, I'm sure is going to be great, uh, great education for a lot of us. It's going to be, uh, it's going to bring our competence level to another level and, and just be able to share with people what we have here as a company, as a technology, as products and everything else technology and everything else that you're going to share with us. I'm sure you've been having a lot of time to be at the labs here for the last two, three years uh, yeah. during the pandemic while everybody was out there stressed out. You were in there creating, you know, uh, I think it was, who was it? Warren Buffett that said, or somebody said that, um, that um, average people talk about people uh, and um, success driven people uh, talk about ideas, um, talk about ideas and create ideas or have ideas and uh, wise people uh, make those ideas happen and those dreams happen, you know, by putting action into things, right? So that's that's what you do. You're a very wise man, uh, very um, knowledgeable when it comes to technology, inventions and patents and things like that. Uh, so I can only imagine, what, we can only imagine what you've been working on and, and kind of like what you've been doing the last two, three years during the pandemic and everything that's been going on. So uh, I told everyone, let's be a convention. Let's make sure we're there to experience that first uh, ever technology, nanotechnology frisbee, as well as the other <laughs> kind of discoveries and everything else you're going to share with us. What can, uh, in closing, what can, what can you tell our people uh, in regards to the convention? I mean, I know this is going to be a whole nother level of celebration. It's going to be an amazing event. It's probably going to be uh, the biggest event LifeWave has seen in the last 18 years. It's probably going to be, uh, I mean, I know there's been a lot of um, a big, huge investment into the uh, into the production of this whole thing, of this big event, right? So uh, what can you tell our people as far as to, you know, why be at convention? Because this is, this is going to be the one... I believe there's going to be books written about this company. I believe there's going to be books written about the technology, the products, the re redefining of this company, uh, redefining of the industry through network marketing, through this company, LifeWave. I honestly believe there's history being created right now with X39, X49, and these other products that we've had for years and the products that are coming and this technology and the discoveries that you are putting together in these labs. Um, and this convention is probably going to be, it will be history in the making. So what can you tell our people to be part of this history in the making, to be in the, book of, in the books of, of history, of, of network marketing, as well as the body and, and humanity and technology and everything else that we have to offer as a company? Yeah, wow. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot to say about that, Oz. Uh, the first thing is uh, the top earners all go to convention. So if a person's uh, aspirations are to become a leader in the network marketing community, then you go to convention. It's an opportunity to rub shoulders with your peers, uh, to learn from the best, uh, to learn new skills so you can take your business to the next level. Uh, going to convention, of course, builds community. And uh, as you say, this is going to be the biggest one that we've ever had. I can guarantee they're going to see things at this convention that they've never seen uh, in the industry or any other company before. Uh, it's going to be a remarkable experience. Uh, we've invested more money actually in this convention than in, in any other event that we've ever held. Uh, we're expecting to sell out. Uh, we're actually talking about where we want to cap. Uh, the capacity at this point because of the way that we've expanded the event. So, um, yeah, there, the, the main reason for people to get there is uh, to learn the new skills uh, that they can use and implement to build their business. Plus, there's going to be a lot of surprises. Uh, there'll be some free gifts that people will get for coming to convention. 
uh, that are worth more than the uh, price of the ticket and uh, they won't regret it. It's going to be awesome. Plus it's in beautiful Orlando, Florida, you know, uh, looking forward to seeing everyone there be a convention. Let's be part of this history in the making uh, and let's redefine the industry of network marketing together. But it starts there at the event. Right. And we know that leaders are not made. Uh, leaders are leaders are not born. Leaders are made leaders. Where are they made at the events, at the conventions? Then therefore, if you're a leader, if they're a leader, if they want to become a leader, they have to be a convention because they will be made into a leader by the experience, the competence that they'll develop and the knowledge and the wisdom that they'll experience and the application afterwards will give them the results to get those ranks, to get those uh, checks and get everything else and get the growth, right? Uh, so with that being said, Mr. David Schmidt, we, I know we had more questions um, and we can be here for the next two, three hours, <laughs> two days asking you questions because you're just a wealth of knowledge. It's always so refreshing to hear you speak because when you speak, we learn. Uh, and and it's always great to to be uh, to to be led by a leader, a mentor such as yourself, who has such experience in not only creating, developing, inventing, but also the knowledge that you carry from in the industry for the last 17, 18 years as running this company, and now with the people that are being associated with the company like Miss Lori and Emily and and everybody else in the corporate team that we're going to take this company into a billion. I know it's no doubt we're going to be a billion dollar brand in the next two to three years. Um, it might even be sooner. So with that being said, I just want to thank you. Um, gratitude, show our gratitude to you for making this time out of your busy schedule. I know your time is valuable and time is the one most expensive commodity we all have and we can never get back. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.